So how much did I make on this stained glass project? This is the leaded stained glass panel that I recently made for Track 7 Brewing Company out in Sacramento, California. So I wanna show you all the details of everything that was needed to put this project together, including the materials costs and the hours that it took me to complete this commission work. Hopefully you have a better idea if you're planning to do something like this for yourself or maybe a commission work, or if you're looking to buy stained glass itself, then you might have a better understanding of why stained glass costs so dang much. So let's get into it and I'll break down all the details for you. So I started off with the two prints. I got the drawing and then I printed it out in the 18 by 18 size. So one was for the layout template that you can just put all the glass on top of to have a nice template of what everything should look like. And then the other paper was to be able to cut the pieces so I can trace over the glass. I went with black and white. I didn't go with color so that kept the cost down. So the printing for the two copies was $11. The next thing was I bought seven of the 5 16 round lead came in the six foot lengths. I only ended up using four. The price of those for each of them was $14. Um, so that's $56. I got the chains and the jump rings. We'll just say that that's probably about five bucks. I also got the two blue glass sheets that I didn't have in stock. That costed me about 50 bucks for both of those. And paint I needed to buy and the brush. Um, that came out to $14 and that was just to paint that centerpiece to get that paint on there. Okay, so so far that's $150 in just those materials alone. But I completely forgot to charge the extra glass that I used for this project outside of those two sheets. If you're looking at that design, you can see there's the yellows, the orange, the reds, um, indigo, and then those lighter two blue colors. So the thing was that I had the glass in stock already. If you guys know, I have this cabinet pretty much is stocked full of glass. And so I pulled from that and completely just, I kept using it for the project. I really didn't calculate that cost. But we gotta add it in because that is part of the project and so let's do that. So the two blue sheets was $50. And if you're looking at the yellows, you could say that's probably another sheet of glass after you know cutting some curves and things like that. And we have the orange and the reds as well. We've also got the indigo. So everything else kind of adds up. I'm just doing a really rough estimate here. I would say maybe that would add up to about three sheets of glass at that 12 by 12. And if we were just to price it out at $24, um, that's gonna come out to 72. I also forgot about the consumables. We're talking solder, cement, the putty, uh, the flux, but those are very small and tiny, probably about $10, maybe even less. So we'll round up the glass that I didn't count and also the consumables, and that's gonna come out to say roughly $80. So we have now a real rough estimate of $230 of the materials that went into this project. Of course, this is without calculating the tools that we needed to use for this project, like glass cutters, the running pliers, the glass grinder. That's completely not even in this picture, but of course we need that. If you're starting out, you're gonna have to buy those things. I haven't been really good at keeping track of this. This is actually my first time sharing with you guys the real numbers. So right now, I'm breaking down all these numbers for you and I'm actually really finding out for myself how much it actually costed me in materials. We are a little bit over what I had quoted myself and so it's actually 230. So things aren't looking that great. Let's move on to the next thing, which is how long did it take me to complete this project? All right, it took me 15 days to complete this project and that's just from beginning to end where I can just hand it off to the customer. And I started counting from just using the design and uh, putting it into Inkscape, so modifying it so I can use it for stained glass. So 15 days stretch of the work. Some of those were five to six hour days. I did a handful of those. The other days were two to three hour days, just collecting a couple of hours here and there, getting into the studio. Altogether, I logged 47 hours of work on this project. I know that there were days that I would come in here, do like an hour or so and just walk away and completely didn't log. So I think a good rough estimate is really closer to 50. Hopefully not more, but I would just say 50 is probably a good number. Also, I did mess up a bunch of times. I cut glass that was different sizes. I had to redo, I broke some glass. Of course, that all added to the extra time in this total count. But before we apply the total hours worked into the project, Let's talk about the check. So I got exactly $600 for this commission. Now let's apply the total hours that we worked, less the materials costs, and figure out how much I actually made 
per hour. Now I wanna show you how I came up with that number, the 600 bucks. So I took the $150 that I had paid for, then I calculated 47 hours of work. So I just threw in a number of $10 an hour. $10 an hour is definitely not a lot of money uh, for a project like this. The materials cost plus the 10 bucks an hour, that came out to roughly 650. I couldn't see myself charge more than 600 bucks for this project just because I knew I messed up a lot in this and those hours are probably invalid. Now I probably could have charged more, probably should have charged more, but uh, being my first project, first experience of trying to figure out all the materials and things that was needed, how to go about working on this panel and putting everything together. To me, that was a bigger learning experience than just charging the appropriate price for a project like this. When I dropped this project off and it was time for the brewery to make the payment, they asked me how much I was gonna charge for this project. They were super nice about it and actually said, charge us whatever you would charge any other customer. Just because I knew them very well, they didn't want me to give them a discount or anything like that, they just wanted to pay a fair price. Now for me, working on such a commission like this for the first time, I wanted to learn how to go about doing everything and that was a big lesson and an opportunity to be able to learn and grow from working on this project. So the money wasn't as important for me on this front and for this time. So that is why I charged what I charged and got $600 instead of maybe upping it a little bit to get more than $10 an hour. But in reality, let's take a look at what I actually made because I want to see this too with that actual number of the 230 applied. Okay, so if we made $600 for this project, the cost was actually 230 for the materials, we're left with 370. Now that 370, let's say we worked the 50 hours of work, that gave me $7.40 per hour. <sighs> okay, so I got paid $7.40 for this project, but I know I messed up along the way, and let's say if somebody came by and they were the super professional and they were just doing this perfectly, and let's just cut that time into, say, half. So if we did 25 hours instead of the 50, they would be making $14 an hour, 14.8. $14.80 for a professional to cut that time in half to do the work if you charge $600 for this project. If you can shave off 25 hours and get paid 15 bucks an hour, is this doable for you? Would you do something like this? I'd love to know your thoughts on this, what you guys think about charging commissions and how much you would have done this for. If you can help out, please leave a comment and let others know um, so we can all kind of learn from this. What is your guideline and what do you go by to kind of help out um, in pricing your work? For sure, I can say it's worth my time to do because I love this project. I love stained glass and I love doing this work. That is why I would put in the time even though I would get paid less. If you're making something like this, I think you can definitely charge a lot more, but also you can see why stained glass costs so much. Really, I'm just happy that I got to make this project and I was able to give this to a good friend, a very good friend who now has it in his restaurant and uh, brewery. So that to me is more important than charging you know, exactly what I would have wanted to charge. The experience and everything else that came with it is more important to me at this time. If you wanna get started into doing stained glass yourself, because you don't wanna pay all that commission, we have kits available at stainedglassdiy.com shop. So please check that out for your own kits. Hope you guys join us and get into this craft, start learning how to make stained glass.